Shloka 3.7. Yastvindriyani manasa niyam yarabhate arjuna karmendriyai karma yogam asaptasa vishishyate yastvindriyani manasa niyam yarabhate arjuna karmendriyai karma yogam asaptasa vishishyate yastvindriyani manasa niyam yarabhate arjuna karmendriyai karma yogam asaptasa vishishyate please recite after me <coughs> Yastvindriyani manasa. Yastvindriyani manasa. Niyam yarabhate arjuna. Niyam yarabhate arjuna. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Asaktasa vishishyate. Asaktasa vishishyate. Yastvindriyani manasa. Yastvindriyani manasa. Niyam yarabhate arjuna. Niyam yarabhate arjuna. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Asaktasa vishishyate. Asaktasa vishishyate. Yastvindriyani manasa. Yam yarabhate arjuna. Yam yarabhate arjuna. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Karmendriyai karma yogam. Asaktasa vishishyate. Asaktasa vishishyate. Word for word meaning and translation by His Divine Grace. A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki. Yaha. Yaha. One who. One who. Two. Two. But. But. Indriyani. Indriyani. The senses. The senses. Manasa. Manasa. By the mind. By the mind. Niyamya. Niyamya. Regulating. Regulating. Arabhate. Arabhate. Begins. Begins. Arjuna. Arjuna. O Arjuna. O Arjuna. Karma Indriyai. Karma Indriyai. By the active sense organs. By the active sense organs. Karma Yogam. Karma Yogam. Devotion. Asakta. Asakta. Without attachment. Without attachment. Saha. Saha. He. Vishishyate is by far the better. Is by far the better. On the other hand, on the other hand, if a sincere person, if a sincere person tries to control the active senses, tries to control the active senses by the mind, by the mind, and begins karma yoga. In Krishna consciousness, in Krishna consciousness, without attachment, without attachment, he is by far superior. He is by far superior. 
So in the shloka yesterday, the Lord said that anybody who artificially gives up or renounces, but their senses are occupied in sense objects, but externally they seem to be renounced. He says such a person is a pretender. So in continuation of this, now he's giving us the contrast. He is saying, on the other hand, if a sincere person tries to control the active senses by the mind and begins karma yoga without attachment, he is by far superior. So yesterday we were saying that if you have taken on the saffron robes, but your mind is still disturbed because of sense objects, Krishna is saying, actually, it is better if your mind is disturbed by sense objects, but at least if you begin performing karma yoga, which is activities to please Krishna. Here Krishna is saying, without attachment, asaptaha. So to do your duty without attachment to the results, Krishna is saying he is by far superior. So Krishna is saying a person performing karma yoga is superior to a person who has artificially renounced their duties and responsibilities. So this is again an important instruction for us. Again and again in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna does not think very highly of those who give, give up their duties and responsibilities. Krishna doesn't think highly of them. We must perform our duties and responsibilities depending on which ashram that we are in. Most of us are probably in Grihastha ashram. Maybe a few of us are students, uh, so equivalent to a brahmachari ashram. But as long as you are in the Grihastha ashram, you have duties and responsibilities. Our Acharya say, and Srila Prabhupada says, that if you've crossed the age of 50, you can consider withdrawing from family life and taking on vana prastha. Um, that is what Srila Prabhupada says. But it may not be a realistic option for all of us. So we have to continue to do our duties and responsibilities in the Grahastha Ashram as long as we are required to do so. Yeah? Not everybody has the uh, luxury of retiring and taking on Vanaprastha early. Right? And even then, it should be taken in consultation with devotees. It should not be done independently. In Krishna consciousness, all activities related to spirituality all decisions related to spirituality should not be taken independently. It should be taken in consultation with other devotees or senior Vaishnavas. So this is important for us to remember. It's better to work than to artificially renounce one's work just because one is experiencing difficulties in life. 